I wanted to uh, make a quick video on a really uh, neat old uh, electronic counter that I have. An old uh, HP 5245L which uses some really really neat Nixie tubes. And so uh, this uh, video is going to be showing uh, the counter. Well here's uh, here's the self test uh, that it does right in the beginning. Uh, you'll see it will either read nines or a one and fo followed by a bunch of zeros in the check position. And that's uh, uh, an interesting point. Uh, a lot of connections in the back as well to uh, have breakouts and stuff like that. I didn't have it in the original Shack uh, Tour, uh, which uh, this is typically how it's laid out. And uh, this counter uh, can do frequency and timing. And so here you can see this is milliseconds. You can see the, uh, uh, the individual seconds, 7, 8, 9, and 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. So it's a, it's a really accurate counter. It's got a lot of uh, digits. So I want to hook up uh, a signal generator now. We'll go ahead and get our RG400 uh, BNC jumper here. And we'll hook into the, uh, the signal generator. And we'll sweep a couple frequencies and see how the frequency uh, electronic counter will follow the uh, generator. And it's kind of interesting to point out that uh, neither one of these uh, has an external reference right now. Uh, the counter uh, looks like does accept what I think is a 1 megahertz clock input on the back. Uh, it does have an internal oven though, so that's, uh, that helps for some stability. And if we click the resolution over, the display will start to uh, change. You can see it read megahertz in the upper uh, left. And as we back back down and move the time base, it'll go back to kilohertz and read in kilohertz for the duration. And we'll get some pretty fine uh, resolution down to one cycle uh, doing that. So there's, there's 14.201.210 megahertz down to the 1 hertz resolution and you can see our dBm levels are about minus 15 dBm that's about where I found the frequency counter started to become active so there it is we're changing the frequency to 14.201 you can see pretty good about nine cycles uh, difference between uh, the frequency generator and the frequency counter which again both are completely uh, just running off their internal time bases so pretty impressive. So here we are just moving the frequency around and we'll see how it tracks. I also left the uh, audio track on as well so we can actually hear uh, the actual fan noise that the two make. And so if we wanted to leave these on for any length of time I'd probably do a fan modification uh, to quiet them down. But the Nixie counter is just such a cool uh, instrument uh, the way it works with its individual uh, numbers uh, with filaments inside the neon uh, tube uh, it really is a cool uh, old uh, frequency counter. Let's see, looks like uh, still pretty low in the frequency range, a little uh, around two and sweeping up now. Um, I noticed that the counter uh, didn't uh, respond well above 60 megahertz, so perhaps uh, this particular uh, plug-in and model uh, was rated to uh, to 60 meg, and you can see up to about 59 and a half. And after this, it uh, still read, but it started to uh, uh, not do so well. And even way up there, the amount of error really wasn't that much. Back down to 10 megahertz, you can see about a three cycle uh, difference uh, between the two, which is still really impressive. Of course, uh, with any gear like this, you really want to hook up an external GPS disciplined oscillator and just match the clock input uh, that the uh, piece of test equipment wants to see, such as 10 megahertz, or in this case, the HP counter uh, wanted what looked like one megahertz, which was a little bit different. 
Well, here's a little bit different view. Um, again, uh, you can see it counting up to 10 megahertz and a little bit of uh, each filament afterglow as it uh, transitions. Really, uh, really a neat thing to watch. Just such a uh, method of uh, of counting before uh, LEDs and uh, Digi Widgi came uh, on the ballpark. I love how uh, some of the filaments are closer to you. Some of them are farther behind. You can see the three is somewhat closer than the uh, digits in back, which looks like zero is uh, is a little bit farther back. I'm just counting up 17 megahertz, 16 megahertz, 15 megahertz, 18 megahertz, 19. Now here's a uh, stable view, uh, different uh, uh, frequency. It's uh, 49.876.5 megahertz. You can see it's about nine cycles off between the two. Uh, but this is just a different uh, view. I tried to get as many uh, numerical values uh, shown, just uh, sort of a, a random number. Although I uh, used 49 megahertz as the uh, as the uh, numeric value there you can see 49.876.5 well anyway that's the old Nixie tube counter I hope you enjoyed that uh, I uh, really uh, enjoyed making this and getting it out and hooking it up and giving it a quick test so this is uh, Tyler amateur radio operator KA0KA